Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on May 18th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather and world weather, anything else affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at 304 angstroms, our sun, as we're still observing those solar flares, C-class solar flares, and it looks like an X-class solar flare in the final a little blast there looking at the last 48 hours incoming imagery very spastic sunspot and very large at that stay tuned to tomorrow we'll be able to see the full size of this massive sunspot outgoing imagery small cme was ejected another quick look here at the sunspot multi-spectrum here full view Amazing. Thank you, everybody, for joining the family. Over 35,000 strong, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Looking at an Earth-facing coronal hole, and that's about it right now for space weather affecting us. Looking at the Iswa spiral here, you can see a CME was ejected from the right side of the sun. And as well, we are expecting here the coronal wind stream and then another one coming on the 22nd to 23rd. Looking at Alaska 2 and Alaska 3 core images. No major events here. Just showing the small CMEs. Flares coming out the left side there. So our geomagnetic activity and solar X-ray flux remains low. We did we were slightly elevated earlier today, looking at a real-time solar wind, and we are steady at about 356 kilometers per second. Nothing major to talk about there either. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 3750. A little bit healthier compared to yesterday's spike quality of 6.4 amplitude of 27 let's look here the last 24 hours for earthquake where just recently there was a 6.7 earthquake here reported west chile rise no tsunami watch or warning put out with this having a look at the buoy center no major events to report also a 5.3 earthquake reported in Nepal at a 10 kilometer depth. As well, Iran seeing another 4.3 today at a 10 kilometer depth. And Sabang, Indonesia, a 5.0 there. Deep earthquake here in Bonin Islands, Japan region, 4.4, as well a 4.4 there, Russia. A 5.0 to report here, Adak, Alaska, and as well a 4.5 and a 3.0, Chiniak, Alaska. So we definitely did see the uptick as forecasted in my video from four days ago. Overlooking Hawaii, largest earthquake today, 2.7. And then across the United States, 2.7 there, Oklahoma. But we also had a couple earthquakes here in Yellowstone. This is the last seven days for earthquakes, but there were four very small earthquakes. Mammoth, Wyoming, 
So north of Yellowstone Lake, no, nothing too major to get excited about there. But 2.7 Oklahoma, 3.4 there, White City, New Mexico. As well, looking at Huron, California, 3.6. Mina, Nevada, 2.6. Lone Pine, California. And as well, Barstow, California. And Tom's Place. So it seems to be a concentrated region of earthquakes there, just above the Salton Sea. Puerto Rico seeing minor earthquakes today, largest being 3.6. South America was a rocking. Peru with a 4.7, 3 kilometer depth, as well a 4.2, 131, and as well a 4.2. 4.8 there reported. Rick James Ridge. And as well, South of, Af South of Africa today reporting a 5.2, a 4.9, and a 5.1 there afterwards. Pretty sizable earthquakes for South of Africa. You don't see them often. Most times they're west there towards the South Sandwich. As well, looking through the Kermadex today, Fiji Islands 4.3, 4 deepest earthquake today, 554 kilometer depth, as well as 5.2 of rang out pretty deep as well. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Have a quick look here. The last seven days, still, I think, way too quiet across North American plate and Central America. Increasing activity through the Indian plate and up into China, as well as Russia into Alaska. Deep earthquakes coming back to Fiji and as well as seeing Earthquakes coming back to the Antarctic plate into Africa. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Just have a plan, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Have a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes to update. Showing Semeru, Indonesia, as well as Sinabung, Reventador, Dakono, Fuego, Sabinkaya, and Senge. Ebico in Russia. Many storms and flood alerts. Holy smokes. Popo in Mexico. Sufria or St. Vincent. Nevados de Chilean. As well, Pacaya in Guatemala. And Swiss and Ajima. So yeah, pretty active day for, Earth, for volcanoes. About 15 being updated there today. And across the United States, still watching tornado warnings pop up across Texas. And winter storm warnings across Canada, that's right, and as well the northern plains of the United States. Winter storm conditions are in play right now, and very windy conditions throughout Alberta. If you haven't seen that video yet, I threw up a quick video today, small windstorm going through Calgary. So heads up, Texans, over the next few days, this low is going to affect you as it is squeezed and pushed northward. So very interesting intertropical convergence going on there. And I'm pretty sure that was Tropical Storm Andreas. A lot of stormy conditions across the continents in other countries around the world right now. Flood alerts, storm alerts. Tis the season, but a lot of changes. Let's have you look here. Meteor Earth, five-day forecast. Starting out here in Calgary, Alberta. As yes, we did have quite a windstorm come through today. That was that vigorous low developing and moving eastward and bringing down some pretty cool temperatures behind it as well. Look here, just below freezing Friday to Saturday for Calgary and the Foothills area. Other than that, pretty much dry across the West Coast. All of the systems have now moved inland and are moving eastward as well we have that big low coming out of the gulf that will be heading northward big high pressure ridge blockade on the east coast and then watch as this system the alberta clipper heads into ontario you could see some extreme weather there with that system other than that it's going to be cool unseasonably cool all across canada and upper 
northwestern United States. Overlooking the Atlantic, no major weather systems developing just yet, but there is quite a big low here developing. Does not have too strong of a signature just yet. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system here, yet another one heading into Ireland and the UK. As well, low pressure system still affecting eastern parts of Europe and northern and central for that matter. Stormy conditions through eastern Mediterranean later in the week, as well through Italy. Overlooking West Indies and Southeast Asia, you've got tropical cyclone Tokte, who is heading into the Mongolian mountains, and then watching the five-day forecast, it's going to scoot through the mountains here, and then into China. So we could have a rebirth of here, tropical cyclone Tokte, as it heads towards the West Pacific. Long line of moisture here coming out of China, stretching into Japan. Long-range forecast, a lot of rain. Atmospheric river of moisture there. As well, long-range forecast could see another cyclone developing here in uh, the Banda Sea, Banda Sea. As well, could see one here developing east of Thailand. Monsoon rains kicking up across Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and the Philippines. High pressure ridge moving out of Australia, eastern parts of Australia. And then watch for a bit of moisture here to be thrown in from that low from the south, parts of southwestern. And then overlooking the system that was heading towards New Zealand. Looks like it's not going to make landfall there. Big high pressure ridge still dominant across the Pacific. Hawaii could see some moisture squeezed in the long range forecast, but still pretty dry. Dry across the West Coast, straight across the West Coast of North America. Central America, heavy rains and thunderstorm conditions through Mexico, Guatemala, central regions, hot spots. As well, watch for storms to develop here. Chile, Argentina border. Friday into Sunday. No major weather systems to talk about over Africa. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Much love to everybody. And thank you so much for joining the family. Daily dues. Daily events worldwide. Keeping you aware and prepared with space weather events, world weather, and all disasters affecting humanity. Prayers for humanity. Much love. If you enjoyed today's video, stay aware and prepared. Like stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye bye.